Now let's explore the product image here. So by default, it's displaying one is to one. But if I select custom, let's take a look at here. It's look like this. You can adjust the product image size from here. And let's say you'd like to display one is to three if I select here or two is to three it looks like this sometimes there are a few products that requires the height is uh, like bigger than the weight and in that situation you have to adjust the product ratio from here but please note that it will not gonna work if you upload random image inside your store so you have to choose different path maybe you have to use custom code or something like that and also you can use uncropped image so this is exactly how the product crop version works and it's only applicable inside the shop or archive page now one thing that if i inspect here here you can see the image width and also the render size is 20 20 220 220 pixel so that's the rendered size and here is the aspect ratio so the original size is different than the rendered size and it's displaying here the rendered size this is exactly how it works now okay there is nothing um, to explain more about the product image size so uh, if you are facing any issue related to the product image or like if you want to customize or if you want to display all similar height then you have to upload them similarly or you have to use custom code unless it will miss your website and it it doesn't looks good at all so that's all related to the product image and um, this is the main image basically it will change the main image size so if you just take a look at here after publishing your changes the new images will be generated automatically and if i change here let's change it to 200 it's it's not changing because if i hover over here you can see the image size used for the main image on single product page so that means as you can see it's not clearly said that here it's archive and here it's single so it's it's not like that they didn't say anything but if i hover over here you can see it's mentioning that this 300 value which is for archive or product catalog and this one is for single product so let's say if i go to single product page it looks like this so if I so I have to publish them I have to regenerate them sometimes it doesn't work regeneration now I have added 200 it was 600 so if I view my website and visit any single product page inspect here and see if it's displaying 200 or not so as you can see it's not displaying so it's not respecting and this is an issue from woocommerce itself and there are lots of conversation and query related to this and this is exactly how it works as of now and also if i hover over you can see there are two different sizes let's let me explore this one the first one is 980 pixel and the second one is 980 pixel but without hover it's displaying 200 pixel as you can see the image width and height is 200 pixel that means it's working and that's why the image is blur when i hover over the image is not blur but when i take my cursor out it's now blur it's displaying 200 but it's stretching the layout and it's uh, covering the whole area so this is how it works and this is how the image works inside the woocommerce i hope you understand what i mean here and that's all for the image if you have any other questions please feel free to ask in the comment section thank you so much